what's going on everyone welcome back to keep halloween alive the season finale you know i always do a season finale each season because this is around the time to where i wrap it up because that's when stores start to roll out their halloween items and their fall items so there's really no need for me to keep halloween alive when all this stuff's starting to come in i think spirit halloween should be putting their stores up around my location really soon so i'll do like a little of my style of filming around spirit halloween I'll try, you know, I'll try to get it up as soon as possible, but enough with that. Let's go ahead and start out today's Keep Halloween Alive. I'll show you the second part here after we're done baking. So we're going to be baking some pumpkin dip. Now, of course, I got the pumpkin puree in a can, the Libby's brand. I got that, and I'm going to tell you what all you need as you bake. So you can bake along with me. You can use graham crackers, cut apples grapes, strawberries, um, anything that you can think of, ginger snaps, it will be good for pumpkin dip. So let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, I got my kitchen made right here ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead. You can use a blender probably, whatever else that you got. Do it by hand if you want. But my gosh, this thing has saved me so much when I bake. So let's go ahead and get it started. The first thing that we're going to need is two cups of powdered sugar. Okay, to make it easier, I went ahead and wrote it all down so you can just follow along with the video and just write it down as we go along. So I got two cups of powdered sugar, one cup of heavy whipping cream, 12 ounces of cream cheese, cream cheese room temperature, one cup of pumpkin puree. I don't know why I said cup, I meant to say one can. Half a teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth of ground cloves, teaspoon, sorry about that, and one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, the heavy whipping cream is going to be the last thing you do. You're going to want to mix all this together, and at the end, your one cup of heavy whipping cream, you add that very last thing. So, now let's go ahead and add the two cups of powdered sugar. I had the lovely assistant Tori right here doing the two cups of powdered sugar. You having a hard time there? No, my shoulder hurts. Okay, there's our two cups of sugar. Now we're going to add in our can of pumpkin puree. There we go. All right, now she's doing half a teaspoon of ginger. Okay, now we need one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now we need one fourth a teaspoon of ground cloves and one fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, now let's just go ahead and mix this up. We'll add the vanilla next, then we'll put in the cream cheese to let that get to room temperature. Then after that, we'll add in the heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna cover it up so no powder flies everywhere. Okay, now we're gonna add in a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. We got one bar already from the microwave. We just heated it up a little bit because it was still too cold. Then we'll cut out the rest of the four ounces of cream cheese for a total of 12 ounces to put in here and mix it up. So now we'll take the leftover four. Pour that on in there, man. Just pour that on in there. Get it in there. Okay, sorry if it's too loud, but right now, while it's stirring, we're going to go ahead and we'll pour in a little at a time of the heavy whippy cream. Just a little at a time. Okay, while that's going a little bit longer, I got some ginger snaps right here. I got some graham crackers right here. We're going to go ahead and give it a taste test after this stirs for a little bit longer. I just got done scraping down the sides. Now, we'll give it a try here in a couple seconds. Okay, as you can see, we're all done right here. Now, what one are you going to try first? The ginger snap or the graham cracker? I'm going to do this and we have more of these. The ginger snap. Those are pretty good as is, but with this, whew, it's really good. I think I'll go with the graham cracker. How is it? Not good. I'm going to go with the graham cracker. It sucks. You know, I went grocery shopping already. I got the snacks, but I forgot to get like 
apples and strawberries to use to dip in this, but that is the best. When you use strawberries in this, oh, 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 really good. I know, I'm a dork. I don't care. Oh my god. That's good. That's amazing. That's amazing. Very, very good. Okay, I'm going to cut the camera here in a second because I'm going to chow down on this. But, okay. Dad, that's too good. So, tell them what you think. This is her first time trying pumpkin dip. I think mean, it was delicious. I really liked it. It's something you can't really describe to them without them doing it along with us because it's unique. A lot of people still to this day hasn't, has not heard of pumpkin dip. When I tell people at work, they're like, what's that? Well, I got plenty here to take everyone. Oh, I want to save it for myself, but I don't want to become like a big blob or anything after eating all that. So I want to take it to work, share it a little bit. So rewind, listen to what I told you in the video, follow along, should come out great. So let's kick it off to the next part of Keep Halloween Alive and we'll wrap it up. Okay, I already got everything tore up from my pumpkin garden because everything was dying and I only got one pumpkin this year i'm going to show you so here's the pumpkin i know it's not the biggest but i got crappy seeds from lowe's and they weren't that good so i'm going to go to the pumpkin show this year and get seeds from farmers so thank you everybody for joining me throughout this year with keep halloween alive be sure to stay tuned next year and be sure to stay tuned i got some news going on i'm going to ask everyone once again to send in your pictures through facebook of your halloween decorations and make a video out of it i'll give credit in the video put your name on the video so everyone can see everyone around the world on what they do for Halloween. I did it a couple years ago, or was it last year? I can't remember, but if you could trace back, it was like called like Halloween photo book. I'm going to pick it up again this year, so be sure to stay tuned, and I will give updates about that, so that way, go ahead, send in your pictures, and I'll make a big video out of it. Thank you once again, everyone, for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Check you later.